given the financial crisis that we're experiencing here in the city of Detroit, you deserve to have someone at the table who understands numbers, who understands how to analyze financial results, and be able to get our city back on fiscal track. I'm running in the city council race because I'm a person of action. I'm not one who enjoys sitting around discussing the issues. I want to know how we can bring, how I can bring resolution to those issues. So this is the reason why I am a candidate in the Detroit City Council race. My experience as an accountant came from Arthur Anderson. When I graduated from the University of Michigan in 1995, my first job in public accounting was with the firm of Arthur Anderson LLP here in the Detroit office. My, the majority of my experience was in financial services. Uh, the city of Detroit was also one of my audit clients, as well as some manufacturing and retail clients. In 1999, I left Arthur Anderson to join the firm of BTE Energy, where I worked in the corporate accounting group for seven years, primarily responsible for reporting uh, the finances to the SEC, as well as doing accounting research. So that is the sum total of my experience in accounting, both public as well as corporate. The role that I will play in city council is one from a practical standpoint, meaning what would I be doing on a day-to-day -day basis in the office. I look forward to assuming uh, the role as the chairperson over the Budget, Finance, and Audit Committee. As you well know, Councilwoman Sheila Cochran will not be running for re-election, and that is the committee that she chairs. And so with my experience and background, I bring a wealth of knowledge to that particular department. But what I also look forward to doing beyond crunching the numbers for the city of Detroit and making sure your dollars are being protected, is that I look forward to continuing to engage people. Uh, that is where I get my most energy, is the opportunity to touch you, to understand your concerns and your issues, and be able to bring a bit of calm and a bit of hope uh, to your concerns. And one way in which I do that is through the financial empowerment uh, workshops that I've done throughout the community. And I look forward to be able to continue in that in some capacity as your councilwoman. I am a lifetime member of the National Association of Black Accountants. Uh, spent four years as president here in the city of Detroit. And through that organization, I had the pleasure of serving on a national committee, uh, the Financial Education Committee. And what that committee was charged with was to develop a set of modules that can be delivered to our community, uh, both adults, youth, as well as college students. And what it consisted of was five modules in debt management, savings, goal setting, uh, budgeting, as well as financial planning. And so the chapters throughout the nation have a set of these modules and have been given a set of instructions or a toolkit, if you will, to go out and deliver it to communities within their local area. And so based upon uh, the number of students and adults that we've been able to touch, uh, it is a work that I am most proud of. As a member of City Council, what I look forward to championing not only would be, of course, the, the budget and identifying not only opportunities where we need to cut or to strengthen our processes um, that we may operate as a more effective government, but also to champion charges that will bring about an increase in our tax base. And I think the best way to do that is through economic development, reaching out to our business community, and being a ambassador, if you will, for business as well as our local neighborhoods. It's definitely going to take us working together to be able to move the city of Detroit forward. And when we are able to bring business, we're able to employ people, people are able to spend money in the economy, which will be recirculated in our communities, and therefore we strengthen our families and our households in our communities. The way in which the city of Detroit can develop the support of business, I often talk about the low-hanging fruit. I think the best thing that we can do, and the easiest thing that we can do, is to change our image. If you know anything about, um, say, a company that's being traded in, uh, on Wall Street, uh, they get a new CEO. Immediately, the morale goes up, uh, that's, that company's stock goes up. 
So here in the city of Detroit, we know that we've faced a lot of challenges. We have a lot of leadership challenges. And I think the people you are looking for change. And when that change occurs, automatically your morale is going to increase because of the caliber of people who will be serving you, including myself. And so as it relates to the business community, I think that we have an opportunity to be more business friendly, to uh, engage them, to allow them to uh, be able to invest in this community, as well as uh, developing a system of reinvesting and, and, and pouring that back in into our local community. So that's something that I look forward to being a champion for. Specifically, we have to recognize that the economy that we were once relying upon, uh, the auto industry, is not going to be the same. So therefore, it forces us to reach out to other industries, whether it be green technology uh, as it relates to uh, the film industry, uh, things that are going to be more entertainment based. I think Detroit has already seen uh, the emergence of that with the number of uh, sports entertainment centers. We have the casinos here, but we need to continue to diversify our market in order to be able to sustain uh, jobs here in the city of Detroit. Uh, the other thing that, that will bring um, the greatest level of economic development is a mass transit system. Um, transportation is important to being able to move our people uh, from point A to point B. What that will spur is growth and development of both residential and commercial real estate. Uh, businesses will want to populate those areas and of course uh, people will have places to go uh, and, and be able to uh, expand their reach into communities that they're limited uh, from reaching at this time. The steps that I would take as a city council person, number one, I think it all begins in building relationships. Uh, and those relationships have to be nurtured uh, with our local uh, government, as my colleagues who will also be serving with me on city council, but also reaching out to uh, Oakland and Macomb counties because we're talking about a regional transit system. Uh, transit that will not only operate or extend within city limits, but actually go outside of city limits. So in order to move this initiative forward, we have to have good working relationships with those who will also be able to benefit. Again, I think that there have been a number of cuts that have taken place in city, in city government. I think the first thing that we have to do is order a forensic audit. And the purpose of a forensic audit is to identify and investigate for possible fraud, uh, the misappropriation of funds. And because we, are, um, we have a number of cash-based transactions, I think that that gives much opportunity uh, for theft and loss. So to the extent that we are able to identify where the greatest risk exists in our operations, in our financial operations, we target those areas uh, and then put in processes in place to mitigate those from occurring again, uh, then we'll be able to move forward uh, as far as uh, impacting the budget deficit. Where my interests lie primarily is in, uh, number one, how we do business. Um, the city of Detroit has faced a number of, of lawsuits. What I'd be interested in doing is looking at um, the laws of lawsuits that are out there, what's creating them, how do we go about doing business differently to avoid um, that risk? Uh, the other thing I would be most interested in is, is revenue generation. Taking many of the assets that we have, uh, which are underutilized, underperforming, and thinking outside the box on how we might be able to um, cause them to be revenue generating, revenue producing uh, assets for the city of Detroit. And one that I have in particular, uh, particularly in mind, is um, the Bell Isle Park. Um, we can create an economy around Bell Isle that involves um, business, that involves um, entertainment, that also involves the um, business and corporate community uh, taking part in uh, having a vested interest in Bell Isle.